So this question is going to ask us about polymers and monomers. Remember, a polymer is a long chain molecule made of linking monomers together. It says the repeat unit of Nomex is shown below. It's a C double bond O, benzene ring, C double bond O, an NH, a benzene ring, and an NH. And it says draw the structure of the two monomers, which is the important part that could be used to make Nomex. So the important thing to recognize this is that it's a condensation polymer. It's made by two molecules coming together, reacting together, and the byproduct being water. When you look at this type of molecule, the important thing to recognize is which bonds are formed when you combine the two monomers. And in all these cases, the bond that's formed is the carbon-nitrogen bond. So we're going to take the two parts of the, of the polymer and pull it apart, like that, and that will give us our two monomers. So if we break the carbon-nitrogen bond, we're left with a benzene ring, this one, C double bond O, C double bond O. And on the other side, this part of the molecule, we're left with a benzene ring, we're left with an NH and an NH. Now we know that nitrogen has to have three bonds and we know that, that carbon has to have four bonds. So what groups do we need to add? Well, remember I said that a condensation polymer is made when two monomers come together and the byproduct is water. So if we start from a carboxylic acid and an amine, when these two monomers were to come together, they would lose water. They would lose that OH and that H. And when they would come together, they would form a bond between that carbon and that nitrogen, and that would give you a polymer. So the two monomers are the dicarboxylic acid and the diamine. The question then goes on to say, suggest the reason why the, boiling, why the melting point of Nomex is higher than that of nylon. Remember, any time you see melting point, boiling point to do with intermolecular forces. So the melting point of Nomex is higher than that of nylon, you'd say, so there are stronger intermolecular forces Stronger intermolecular forces in Nomex. And remember, that means it's bonds between polymer chains. It's that polymer chain and another polymer chain there, and maybe another polymer chain there. The melting and boiling points is the intermolecular forces between these chains. It's not the forces inside. It's not breaking that bond. It's breaking chemical bonds between different strands of the polymer. 